What's going on everyone? This is Erica for the win. This is gonna be my first impressions of A Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I picked this game up at midnight along with the Switch when it launched and I was so tired that night even after my unboxing and everything and I still decided to play it. I, I couldn't help myself. I mean it's freaking Zelda. So I played for about 40 minutes really sleepy and I felt like I couldn't really develop first impressions just from those 40 minutes. The game starts off kind of open-ended as far as like the story. It doesn't really get into the story and it just kind of throws you in and you kind of have to just go from there and figure out, okay, what, what am I supposed to do? Um, so playing those first 40 minutes was kind of like just checking out the controls, checking out um, the graphics, obviously, uh, the the way it just plays coming from the handheld to the TV and vice versa. I was kind of just testing through all that. And right off the bat, I felt like the controls were definitely going to take some time to get used to when I was using the Joy-Con grip. Because for one thing, let me just throw a couple things out there, just some, some tidbits of how the controls work in this game. To uh, jump, you have to press X. And I will put up a picture showing where X is. I don't think I need to explain the problem. You can see it right there. <laughs> Jumping with that button is really awkward and weird at first. And eventually, of course, I get used to it. But at first, I was thinking, man, that's a that's a weird way to jump in this game. Also, when it comes to like the inventory and picking weapons, switching out weapons, um, when you do it on the fly, you're pretty much using the um, what should be a D-pad, but it's not. But it's on that side, the left, the bottom left side. You're using buttons there. And then when you when you actually go to the menu where you can switch out weapons and things like that, instead of using the bumpers, which I think would, you know, kind of feel more natural, you use the right stick to kind of like move through the menus and find what you need. That takes getting used to as well. I'm sure there's games that I've played that have done that, but for, for whatever reason, it just didn't come naturally with this game. I felt like it would have been more natural with the bumpers going back and forth um, through the menus. It just seemed like that would be the way to do it, but it wasn't. So there's just things like that that kind of felt awkward. And I just thought to myself, you know, this is Nintendo. This is Nintendo being Nintendo. Us having to get used to another controller. I'll, I'll do it, but, you know, initially it's just awkward. So that was kind of my first, first impressions like that night. But when it came to the game, like I said, I was really sleepy. I was just kind of just running around and talking to like the first couple characters or whatever. And that was pretty much it. The next day I streamed and I do have a lot of that gameplay on my channel. I took out a big chunk and I uploaded it to my YouTube. So if you want to check that out, I specifically uploaded that certain part because it's going to show you the moments, the exact moments when I fell in love with this game. It shows the moments where, you know, I was kind of confused about things or I didn't know exactly uh, what I can do with Link because, you know, they tell you even before you get into the game, you know, I've, I've seen it everywhere when it comes to reviews and things like that. Kind of funny, he talked about this as well. You can go anywhere. If you see a mountain, you can climb it. If you could, if you could see something in the distance, you can go there. And I knew that going in, but I still had that mentality of like traditional Zelda. I have to find the path or I have to figure out how to get around the mountain or, you know, how do I use this enemy's um, attacks to benefit me? You know, I was kind of thinking of it in that way, like a puzzle type of way. But the reality is you really can go anywhere. And once I realized that for real and I started doing it, it was like that aha moment, like, wow, this is how it works. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is awesome. And when I had those moments, like I said, I just fell in love. And that is what is so freaking great about this game is those moments. And I even said in that gameplay, like, this is why I love Zelda. Just the simplest things, the things that you figure out, the puzzles and all of that, the, the sound effects that happen when you do discover something, that is what makes Zelda so magical and what makes it so amazing. And some people don't really understand when it comes to Zelda. If they've never played Zelda before, they're most likely looking at this game and thinking, what's the big deal? This stuff is in other games. Why is it praised so highly in Zelda? What is going on? Like, what is so great about this series? And trust me, people who do play Zelda like myself, we know. Like, we just know that there's something magical about Zelda. 
from the sound effects to the music to the characters to to these moments that I was talking about and just the satis satisfaction of the simplest things it's magical in Zelda it just stands out and it's just man it's just something about it <laughs> it's it's hard to describe but people who play Zelda know what I'm talking about and this goes across many of their games right because I've played a lot of them in the past so you know I went through those moments time and time again it's the same kind of story each time and it's the same formula in you know when it comes to the core of Zelda when it comes to puzzles and, and you know interacting with with enemies bosses things like that but the way they evolve this series and the way it feels fresh every single time and the way that it surprises you every time in different ways that's what makes Zelda so good as a series it's just what makes it stand out to me and it's what has me in awe at the end of the day and here we are with Breath of the Wild and it's doing it all over again. Breath of the Wild on the surface can come across as empty and just like this big world with not a lot in it but the more you play the more you realize how deep it goes how in-depth the exploration is in this game. The little details are all there and you just have to uncover them. And once you do that, that on the surface look of emptiness is completely out the window. There's a lot to do in this game. It's taking the basic elements and the basic formula of Zelda and evolving it all over again. In this huge open world, you can go anywhere, literally go anywhere. And when it comes to just discovering different things, you know, if you if you have a torch, for example, you see a pile of leaves, you're like, hmm, can I light that on fire? And sure enough, you can. And under those leaves, you might find a surprise. And it's there's a lot of things like that. There's a lot of instances where you look at something and you're like, huh, I wonder if I can do this or I wonder if I can do that. And then you try it out and it can really surprise you at what Link is capable of. And just the environment itself, the things you can move, the things that you can climb up or, or climb over or, you know, interact with, it, it's, it's amazing. And I'm starting to see why this game is getting reviewed so high. You know, obviously, as a big Zelda fan, I'm going to look at the reviews and think, well, of course, you know, of course it's going to get 10s, of course it's going to get 9s, it's freaking Zelda. But at the same time, I want to see it for myself. I want I want to believe it. I want to know what, what they know. I want to see what these reviewers see. Of course, in my own way, yeah, I'm at that point right now where I'm thinking like, this is, this is for real and I'm hooked. I really, I just can't stop thinking about playing. I want to play it as much as I can. Um, all other games kind of get put on hold for a bit, but that's just how it is, you know? It's just because it's Zelda and there's just so much to do in this game. As far as the combat goes, it's pretty basic. It's pretty simple. If you're familiar with like an Ocarina of Time, it resembles that game a lot. You can lock on, you can sidestep, you can jump backwards and attack. You can jump and do like a special attack depending on the weapon. They vary and they're, they're different animations, which is really cool. Um, but this is no Neo, obviously. This is no Dark Souls. This is not that deep as far as combat, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. At the end of the day, I feel like Zelda, as simplistic as it is, it's still very satisfying combat. I feel like the enemies... Um, they, you know, they're smart. Let me point that out too. The enemies are kind of smart in this game, so it gives you a challenge there. They know how to react, they know how to kind of counter you. Um, I've seen videos, like there's one that's retweeting on Twitter right now, where somebody creates a bomb, they throw it back behind them when an enemy's following them, and the enemy actually kicked the bomb back to the player and killed him. <laughs> so it's really awesome. That was a cool moment. That's something that's so great about the internet. We get to share these moments with each other and these clips. And I just thought like, wow, these, these enemies, they're really kind of smart, you know? And I've seen a bit of that. Nothing that awesome, but I've seen enemies, you know, they, they, they sound off a horn to kind of alert the rest to come and attack me. They uh, use their bow and arrows. They can actually maneuver quite, uh, you know, in a smart way as well. They're not just like, you know, doing the same thing over and over. They're not doing the same patterns or, or anything like that. They actually move as you move and they, they attack you in different ways from different angles and stuff like that. So they're actually pretty damn smart uh, so far from what I'm seeing. And just the combat in general, like I said, very simple, but satisfying because of these enemies. I think they play a part 
And there's been a good variety of them too, as far as like different kinds of creatures and stuff like that. I haven't seen any bosses, but so far just with the enemies and the combat that I've um, been experiencing with them, it's been pretty cool. Uh, simple, but, but satisfying and uh, a break away from something that's hella deep, like a Neo or like a Dark Souls. You don't always want that, especially in a Zelda game. It brings me back to, okay, like this is classic Zelda. This is, this is, um, how it, how it's meant to be. And I play it that way and it's been good. I actually really do like the combat in this game. Also, when it comes to the weapons, there's a durability issue that you kind of have to worry about. You know, all of these weapons, they break over time. Some of them quicker than others, especially if it's like a wooden weapon. Um, you can catch it on fire. <laughs> that could happen. Or you could just break it just from, you know, battling these enemies. And it'll warn you like, hey, your your weapon is getting weak be prepared and next thing you know it'll just break. So that is something that you know kind of caught me by surprise in this game um, when I was learning about it before it even came out. I was thinking wow that's gonna be interesting. I didn't really have a stance on it. I wasn't really against it or for it. It was just kind of there and now that I'm experiencing it it's interesting. I think it actually adds flavor to the game because it gives me uh, more to think about more to manage as far as my weapons and I think that adds to the challenge. So even though the combat is is pretty simple, you have these layers of challenge on top of it because you have to manage your weapons and not only that but your environments as well. Like I said, a weapon could catch on fire. Uh, same goes for shields. If you have a wooden shield, there was a time where I was standing next to a campfire and my shield just caught on fire and I lost it. So that happened. Um, of course, there's like a snow area that's really cold and Link just can't go through it without losing health and ultimately dying. But if you carry a torch, you can warm up and get through it. So there's like these little things, these little tricks you can do and you find out in the game, like nothing's impossible. You kind of have what you need, at least so far, I feel like this. I have what I need to get through these areas. I just have to kind of figure it out. And so it's been special in those ways too. I feel like this game has just so much going on. You just have to uncover it. You have to discover it. And it's been really awesome. So that is my first impressions, you guys. Um, like I said, the controller is a little funky at first. It's taking a lot of getting used to. Um, some of those buttons, I kind of wish, you know, they did different things or, you know, just things like that. But as far as the controller itself, it's not um, that uncomfortable or anything like that. It's more so the button layout and what it does in the game. Of course, playing this game on handheld mode is awesome. It looks really good. Um, on the TV, I think it looks great as well. There's one part in this world so far, like one little section that has really tall grass, the frames dropped right there. I think it's the tall grass that kind of slows things down for whatever reason should not be happening, but thankfully it's only like that section of the world so far. Of course, this world is huge, so I'm sure I'm going to come across, you know, a few more sections like that again. But so far, it's only been like this really tall grass area where things kind of slowed down. And um, that's it. I haven't really noticed, you know, anything else as far as performance and like frames dropping. But then again, I'm not like really nitpicky like that. I'm kind of the worst person to really nitpick, but still. I do notice here and there and really it was only like that one section. And so yeah, besides that, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with this game. I can't wait to see more and yeah, I want to know what you guys think. If you're playing Breath of the Wild, definitely let me know how you feel about the game. Have you had those moments, those aha moments where you kind of figure out things and you see what Link can really do in this game? How did you feel about that? Were you surprised? Is it the best game you've ever played? Is it? Is it not? Let me know in the comment section, you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much, and I will catch you in my next video.